Coming up, after the break, the Australians who are heading for the roof of the world. In the next hour on the Today Show, the course that helps you conquer your fear of flying and building a beautiful garden from scratch. That's after eight, here on Today. For a mountaineer, the ultimate goal is to climb Mount Everest, I'm told. Our next guest set out today on the ch challenge of a lifetime to get to the top. They will obviously need remarkable uh, climbing skills, but they're taking along some other skills as well in other areas. Joining us this morning, banker Ian Collins and conference producer Mark Squires. Good morning to you both. Good morning, Liz. You're well equipped for something when you get there. Yes, we divided the roles. I had to raise the money and Mark organise other things. Well, uh, uh, banking crook at this time of year. Is this why you're doing it? That's what they say, yes. <laughs> it is obviously something that you've had to think about fairly seriously, though, because this is a very, very dangerous uh, mission. Well, we've had to think about it very seriously, but for a very short length of time. Yeah, now we should point out uh, that the Russians pulled out, that's correct. Yes, we were part of a joint Australian-Russian expedition. And uh, they couldn't raise their US dollars, so uh, we got the permit. And uh, Mark, the, the, the time that you got was all of three weeks' notice? Uh, it's about five weeks now. About yeah. five weeks' notice. Now so you not a long time. You leave today? That's right, yeah. Are you but ready? Are you prepared? <sighs> We're ready, yes. You've got no choice, exactly. obviously, but do you feel confident? Yes, quite confident, actually. I mean, two weeks ago, I, would have, I was panicking. Just, there's so much to do and little time to get ready, but yeah. now it's uh, under control. I'm told you're doing this alpine style. This mm. is you're not taking any supplementary oxygen. That's correct. It's it's part of uh, the problem of not having a lot of money from sponsors. That uh, we're having to do it very lightweight as a very small team of four people. So you're uh, cutting back on the oxygen? Yeah, because if you take <laughs> oxygen, you need somebody to help you carry it, and then that costs money and things like that. Did did, did you want to do this? Or well, out of necessity you're doing this? Well, I guess that's a good excuse for doing it the way we really would like to do it anyway. Now, you're doing it uh, the way Hillary did it? Yeah, the same route that Hillary did, but in a different style. All right. What are the things you're worried about most, Mark? Adjustment to the altitude, I guess, is the, the biggest problem always I'm being Martin. You feel physically, though, you're, you're ready? Oh, well, I think we're all very fit. Yeah. Um, but in some ways, that doesn't really hold up to much when you get on the mountain. No. When you get up to certain altitudes, it doesn't really matter. Your body will adapt as it's supposed to adapt, and then you take it from there. I, I, now, I am presuming that you are, you both have climbed quite a few mountains before. Yes. So, this, I mean, you're not going up there for the first time uh, without a little bit of uh, experience up your sleeve. I don't think they'd let us, actually. I think it'd be quite irresponsible. But... Yeah, now tell me how it works, because there's an extraordinary waiting list to, to climb Everest. Yeah, I think if you want to climb Everest now, you've got to um, book in the next available slots about 1996. So it's very difficult. So if you want to plan an expedition, you usually have a lot longer than we had. It's a bit of a crowded house up there by the sound of it. Yeah, it is. Uh, we're having a good time on our trip because we're going to be sharing the route with the first ever all-female Nepali expedition. Oh, you'll have a good time. Wow. What about the policeman friend who's going to get married before he goes? Well, he gets married tomorrow, actually, so he's not flying out with us this morning and he <laughs> leaves on Monday. All right, and you do have a professional mountaineer going with you too, who's Michael Groom. That's correct. Well, um, I do wish you the very best of luck. I hope it does go well. You've got uh, a few dollars under your belt. You'd like a few more from sponsors, but... Mm. You're it going all, anyway. It all helps, yeah. It's well, quite an expensive undertaking, and what assistance we can get is uh, much appreciated. All right. Well, as a banker, you should have done that before. Well, I got assistance from my bank as it was. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, in fact, Chase was the only sponsor to the trip. Oh, there you go. Well, we do wish you the very best of luck, as I said, and I hope you are successful. We look forward to seeing you on your return. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Liz.